Welcome back to Shaman King 2021 Anime Review, Episode number 5. This is the 5th episode of the series, Oversoul. And this one doesn't adapt as many chapters as last week's episode. Yeah, that's going to be quite interesting though. Last week's episode covered 7 chapters, but it's a little bit of chapter 11. This week they covered most of chapter 25, all but about 4 pages. And adapting 26 to 31, like... That's pretty short, only about five, six chapters, like, about a chapter less than last week. Yes, yeah, like usually, I do cut off some stuff here. Episode first starts off with basically a little, slightly little different happens in the manga. It's like, oh, like, we're having breakfast now. Oh, yeah, Menta apparently decided to stay over for some reason. Don't know why, but he did. And we see that, oh, yeah, oh, Anna, you're preparing breakfast. Like, no, he is. And it's for you. Why the heck is he here? Because he wanted to cook for them. And he basically is revealed that he actually has the power of a shaman. So you can see on the Mario thanks to, of course, being possessed by Tokajou. I think it's even his name. Let's see. What is the name of his spirit that possessed him? Togura. Yes, Togura. Yeah. And, well, not long after that, he volunteers has to become the chef of the place. Not really follow up upon because he basically saw it shown later on outside. Yeah, they act kind of a bit here where him and his men just remodel the house that Yao and Honor are living in and just made it to an actual inn. Basically, because it is an inn. Yeah, surprisingly, they cut this out. I'm not really sure why. And then later on, basically, we see that, well, the sword that, that Yo broke in last week's episode has been reforged. Yet yeah, they brought back the blacksmith who went to the afterlife. Yeah, he came back and reforged, of course, him and Adam are basically have a brief fight. Then pretty much, like, right after that, then, of course, Ryu and Menta going home, well, to their respective homes anyway. See, of course, they said walk. I would figure out how old this guy is. He figured out his own car. Nope, he doesn't. And then they see a shooting star. Yeah, this actually is the start of their, well, they will come to Now, there is a slight change here. They do change uh, what Yo is wearing in this particular scene. Because in the manga, he's got, look, look, looks like a yellow sun on his shirt. In the, in the anime, he is, his shirt's blank for some reason. And then later on, we see him at a ca outdoor cafe, sitting on a bench with bandage on his legs. Yeah, they actually cut out the bit where he basically sits on air, the electric chair. Yeah, they cut out that bit where he was in school. Yeah, it seems as though they've been like cutting off himself in the school for some reason. I don't know why, it's just that they do. And they see a seller, just jewel seller, who might be a threat to him. No, he's just basically nothing. And then he and Amar basically go straight to, well, the graveyard from the first episode. Yeah, so they're here for a while. And, of course, we also see Silva make his debut in this episode. Yeah, he's a very important supporting character in the series. I should point out, though, in the English dub, the original series, mind you, yes. This guy is one of the people part of the selection committee for... Let's see if I can find me. Yeah, he's from the Patch Tribe. Let's see. See, he's actually voiced by Dan Green. Now you're probably thinking, who is Dan Green? He is the voice of Yugimoto. Yep. Yugimoto from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. That's who he voiced in the original dub of the series. And, well, he did a few other series. He is in Pokemon. Voicing somebody like Professor Birch. But yeah, that's who voiced him in the original series. They, of course, have not said exactly when in the world he's going to... Well... Who is going to be voicing these people in the actual... Dub itself. I have honestly no idea. Mm-hmm. So 
So, of course, we see a couple times briefly we see Tao Ren in the episode. First time we see him, he is, well, preparing the fight. And later on, we see him where he defeats one of the selection people by stabbing him. And they cut a portion of the shot out because, well, it looked like in the manga, he killed him. Here, it's implied he killed him. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, of course, Yo and Silver have their brawl. Which lasts for pretty much almost half, most of the episode. And it's a really good fight. Yo tries to use Spear Fusion on, on, on Silva. Doesn't work. They basically do this thing called Oversoul. Yes. Well, he hints it. He doesn't say it per se. He shows it off. Basically fusing spirits into objects. And he points out though. What Yo is supposed to act, uh, act into makes total sense because it's a symbol of the samurai, the sword, their katanas. Which is great. And then of course, well, then he tries his particular movie trick used before. He used this a couple times in the episode. First it doesn't work, second time it does succeed. And he does cut him, it doesn't wound him per se. And of course he's run out of energy. Though he does succeed at cutting off the guy's headband and then he's given Oracle Bell. Yes, this basically is pocket pager. I at least appreciate though that this anime did not change the look of this damn thing. They did cut out the small portion and introduce it a little bit earlier than when they introduced it. Yeah, this is something I do praise the anime for because it kind of spoils the revelation of what the guy gets as a prize. Yeah, this actually was introduced a little bit later than it was in the manga. The manga was used like just before the fight started. And the anime is like right after the damn thing concluded. Yep, and with that, he's entered into the Shaman King tournament. Now, they of course get a little bit of explanation, basically about the great spirits. The fact that the person you could talk to it is is the spirit, the spirit king or the Shaman King per se, and which is great. The fact that there's a reference set. I gotta say, pretty good episode. Very mild changes. I mean, biggest change that they biggest cut they made was for you and his guys transforming. Uh, Yo and Anna's house into an inn. Yeah, that's literally what they cut out here. Of course, they cut some minor bits out here and there. And then turn around one bit of violence if it wasn't too bad. And it's surprising that this one didn't cover very much. No, it didn't. It seemed like it didn't cover very much. Like, if you had included it a little bit, basically this covered about the same amount of chapters as last week did. Roughly seven. Yeah, it was interesting like how far they're going to go. By the way, Gish went about the actual volumes of the manga, which collect the actual things. Well, this episode, they finally put behind them volume 3, and they start on volume 4. Yes, with basically getting to chapter 31, because that's how far I checked it. Yeah, I have volume 4 right here. I checked it from the library and read it. Yeah, they basically went through most of this volume in just one episode. Yeah. So, this, chap this book ends at chapter 35, so... There is actually a pretty good possibility that they could wrap up basically adapting this book in the very next episode and start book five. I mean, if you're curious still, so like, how many chapters have adapted, well, they did technically skip over chapters three through five. So, if they hadn't adapted those, I'd probably say that there's probably about, well, since I'm 31 now, I'd say about 69 left. But since they adapted 39, uh, three through five, there is still roughly about, I'd say, 72 chapters left. Uh, 300. It is 272 chapters left of the series of Adept. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for Circle of View. And that's it for this because I have no other time to do a video. So expect tomorrow's reviews for How Not the Seven Demon Lord, Yoshima, y y Yoshihime Princess Half Demon, and the Hidden Dungeon Only I Can Enter. Yoshihime Princess Half Demon. This one surprisingly has only got like after this week there's only one episode left and that's it. In the case of Hidden Dungeon Only Enter, after this week there'll be two episodes left and that'll be it. Yeah, that one's ending two weeks from now. Yoshihime Princess Half Demon will end next week. Yep. So it is the next video. We'll be tomorrow. Bye.